I crashed and it wasn't pretty. Hey what's up guys, Robert here with Dirt and Iron and as you can tell by these handlebars right here on the YZ250FX uh, I took a pretty big hit. Let me show you what happened. You see, he almost cased it too. So I went outside, hit that line and I cased it right there and just go over the bars and smack, smack the bike to the ground. This lip is really broken so it's difficult to clear it now and that thing is higher than before which I didn't know, I don't really ride this track much so it seemed to me before that I can clear it no problem but apparently not. So as you could see I wanted to clear the double and I wasn't fast enough. I cased it, I went sideways and then I hit the ground, bent these handlebars, I uh, hit my foot, I hit my shoulder and my, uh, my wrist, uh, everything was hurting for like two weeks. Now I feel much better, I can actually walk now and I can ride, so I'm back on the bike. For two weeks uh, I was uh, not riding, but uh, thank god it wasn't too serious. It was the biggest crash I had in the last two years, so it kind of spooked me a little bit, but thank god uh, nothing really bad happened. But as you can see this YZ250FX is, uh, is damaged, the handlebars are, are done, clutch lever is done, throttle is not operating, it's stuck for some reason over here. And then everything is tweaked, the wheel and the handlebars, is, everything is tweaked. So I want, what I want to do today is to show you uh, how to bring your bike back after the crash. We are going to replace parts that are broken or damaged and then we are going to realign everything so the bike will be ready to ride. First what we are going to do, we are going to address these handlebars. Uh, I don't like this uh, cafe racer style, I kind of like more the dirt bike style. So we are going to get the handlebar that uh, our dirt bike handlebars on both sides, we don't like this cuff eraser. So we're gonna replace that, but before we do that, uh, you know this uh, handlebar mounts are in the rubber and normally what happens when you hit this hard, that you bend your handlebars, you also move these, uh, these rubber mounts. So what you want to do, see where the hit came and it kind of hit it this way. So I want to try to push it back up and see if I can move it a little bit and align it back to its position. Kind of tricky. Okay, I think I think I moved it a little bit. Well, let's see how it feels when we put a nice handlebar back in. Well, next, uh, what we have to do, we have to loosen all the bolts you have on your forks, and then uh, also loosen the bolts you have on your front wheel, and realign everything, make everything settle in its place. Make sure that you measure your fork height and keep the same when you put it back together. That's why we have this right here. We're gonna measure everything to make sure we are at the same place when we put everything back together. And then we're gonna replace uh, this uh, clutch. We have new patch from Works Connection, complete setup. We have new grips from ODI, the lock-on grips. And uh, we'll then try to figure out this throttle situation. And the scratches on the front fender, it's just a battle scar, so it's gonna stay. I've been in the darkness for 40 days. I've been searching for holy flames, a sign to light up the way. So, can you help me out? Can you help me out? Can you help me out? 
Alright guys, so this is a throttle assembly and it turned out that uh, it got somehow smashed from the side. So this right here is a little bit pushed in on one of these two sides. I can't really tell. I, I think right here is a little bit. So when I close it together, it is squeezing in that throttle tube. So it's not moving smoothly. I'm going to try to put something in here and to extend it back out so that my throttle tube will move smoothly. I think you can see it here. You see how this one is pushed in when you look at it? Maybe from, or from this angle. This side is pushed in a little bit and that's squeezing the throttle tube so it's not moving freely. I need to bring this back out. Alright, I used a little chisel and pried it back out and you can see now they are on the same level right here. So I think this will fix our problem. I've been in the darkness for 40 days I've been searching for holy flames a sign to light up the way So can you help me out? Can you help me out? I've been More certain of truth before To Jesus before, so can you help me out? Oh, can you help me out? Am I all right, guys? So, bars are done, everything looks fine over here, everything looks straight, at least for now. Plug works, throttle works, all the controls. Bike starts and runs, so that's good. So next what we're gonna do, we're gonna align our front wheel and, uh, and the forks because it took a big hit so it's a little bit tweaked. We're gonna loosen all the bolts on the upper triple clamps, lower and also on our front, uh, front wheel, all the four pinch bolts and the axle as well. Align everything back and then make sure that we have correct uh, fork height. After that we're gonna torque this to 50 Nm, this one to 70 Nm, then do our front wheel put the bar pad on and we should be good to go.
my friends so the barbecue is the last thing we need to do I can do that off the camera so right now everything seems to be fine I'm gonna take it for a ride uh, it's too late it's like 10 30 usually I work uh, during the night so tomorrow I'm gonna take it for a ride make sure everything is straight but so far it seems fine we did everything we were supposed to do we torque everything to the specs 15 17 and uh, all the controls are where they're supposed to be everything is working so I hope you guys don't need to do this very often also for myself, I hope for the next couple of years I don't have to do this. But if you are in a situation where you tweak your front end, this is uh, how you're gonna do it. Just loosen all the bolts, uh, align everything back, uh, let it sit uh, in its place and then torque it back to your specs and you should be good to go. Alright my friends, well let me know below in the comments again if you have any feedback or if you have any other way how you do these things and don't forget, whatever you do, stay motivated. See you guys later.